A student receives the following grades with an A worth 4 point, a B worth 3 point, and it goes down like that, right? And D is worth just 1 point, and if a student gets an F, F is 0 point. So it looks like we're finding the weighted mean, the GPA in this situation. Let's see. So how many classes did this student take? When I just look at it, I thought this student took one, two, three, four classes. But that's not true, right? Because it says this student has B in two, two credit classes. So I'm going to make up, like, write his, like, transcript or, like, a grade uh, over here, okay? So uh, his grades. I'm going to try to organize this by making a table, okay? And um, what does he have? His, uh, the number of credit, because they matter, number of credit. Okay, all right, take a look. Let me do this, uh, organize this data in this table. So first class, he got a B, right? And this was two credit class. But I'm going to write this one more time because he had B in another two credit class, right? Now, next one is A in a one three credit class. So it's like a biology class or I don't know, like math 245. He's going to get an A. Um, oh, this one is bad. D in a two credit class and C longer in a three credit class so how many classes did he take he took five classes didn't he all right now i'm gonna just figure out something a number that we're going to use later he's a full-time student i think but like how many number of credits did he take this semester i'm gonna add up all these number of credits okay 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3. This student took 12 total credits. 12 total credit. Keep this number because you will need to use this to divide our sum. Okay? So he took 12 total credits, right? Now I'm going to do something what I call like quality points. Okay? Remember, um, A, you get four point on the GPA, right? You get four point on the GPA. That's perfect, 4.0. For Bs, you only get three points, right? And that's what the problem was talking about in the beginning. Um, C, you get what? Two points. D, you get one point. And guess what? For F, you get zero points. What you're going to do is you're going to multiply this number three by two. And you're going to write that number on this side. 3 times 2 is 6. Next, if you do 3 times 2 again, that's going to be 6. 4, oh, whoopsies. 4 times 3 is going to be 12. Next, 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Now, just like we added the total number of credit, you're going to add up the total quality points of this uh, student, okay? Do 6 plus, so like I'm talking about adding all these up together. 6 plus 6 plus 12 plus 2 plus 6. The quality points comes out to be 32, okay? Now, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to divide this 32 by the total number of credits you took. And that's how you calculate a GPA. So let's do 32 divided by 12. 32 divided by 12 is, oh, what is that? 2.67. I'm going to round that up to 2.67. And that's this student's GPA. Okay, let me zoom out so that you can look at these. Two points. Well, let's see if I got it right now, okay? Uh, 2.67. 2.67. Oh, no. They want me to round it to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to have to round this to 2.7. 
I thought GPAs, they usually have like two numbers after the decimal point. But yep, we got the right answer, but just got around it correctly like they wanted.